Welcome to John's Biology Online Lecture Room. The topic of this video lecture is Harmful Effects of Ozone Depletion. Harmful Effects of Ozone Depletion Decrease in the quantity of total column ozone tend to cause increased penetration of solar UVB radiation to the Earth's surface. UVB radiation is the most energetic component of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface. It has profound effects on human health, animals, plants, microorganisms, materials, and on air quality effects of human and animal health potential risks include an increase in the incidence of and morbidity from eye diseases skin cancer and infectious diseases uv radiation has been shown in experimental systems to damage the cornea and lens of the eye experiments in animals show that uv exposure decreases the immune response to skin cancers infectious agents and other antigens and can lead to unresponsiveness upon repeated challenges in susceptible populations UVB radiations is the key risk factor for development of non melanoma skin cancer effects on terrestrial plants psychological and developmental processes of plants are affected by UVB radiation response to UVB also varies considerably among species and also cultivars of the same species in agriculture this will necessitate using more UVB tolerant cultivars and breeding new ones in forests and grasslands this is likely to result in challenges in the composition of species therefore there are implications for the biodiversity in different ecosystems indirect changes caused by UVB such as changes in the plant farm biomass allocation to parts of the plant may be equal or sometimes more important than the damaging effects of UVB. Effects on aquatic ecosystems Exposure to solar UVB radiation has been shown to affect both orientation mechanisms and mortality in phytoplankton resulting in reduced survival rates for these organisms solar uvb radiation has been found to cause damage in the early developmental stages of fish shrimp crab amphibians and other animals the most severe effects are decreased reproductive capacity and impaired larval development. Effects on biogeochemical cycles Increases in solar UV radiation could affect terrestrial and aquatic biogeochemical cycles thus altering both sources and sinks of greenhouse 
and chemically important trace cases. These potential changes would contribute to biosphere, atmosphere feedbacks that reinforce the atmospheric buildup of these gases. Effects on air quality Reduction in stratospheric ozone and the contaminant increase in UVB radiation penetrating to the lower atmosphere result in higher photo dissociation rates of key trace gases that control the chemical reactivity of the troposphere. This can increase both production and destruction of ozone and related oxidants such as hydrogen peroxide which are known to have adverse effects on human health, terrestrial plants and outdoor materials. Changes in the atmospheric concentration of the hydroxyl radical may change the atmospheric lifetimes of climatically important gases such as methane and the CFC substitutes. Increased tropospheric reactivity could also lead to increased production of particulates such as cloud condensation nuclei from the oxidation and subsequent nucleation of sulfur of both anthropogenic and natural origin. For example, carbonyl sulfide and dimethyl sulfide. Effects on materials Synthetic polymers, naturally occurring biopolymers, as well as some other materials of commercial interest are adversely affected by solar UV radiation. The application of these materials, particularly plastics, in situations which demand routine exposure to sunlight is only possible through the use of light stabilizers and or surface treatment to protect them from sunlight. An increase in a solar UVB content due to partial ozone depletion will therefore accelerate the photogradation rates of these materials, limiting their life outdoors. Thanks for watching.